Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 13th, 2021. Wow, my goodness, it's hard to believe we're almost halfway through this month, and it has been as challenging as the month prior with so much volatility. And today, we have to deal with some significant high drama as data rolls out today that could change everything as the day rolls on. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts, see if we can get some information about how we may want to approach the day, and also these high drama moments that are coming our way this morning. As a matter of fact, we could get one of those high drama mo moments as I record this video. So let's take a look. We have um, in this chart officially a downtrend, as you can see, the, the diamonds downtrending. Now, we did break this little downtrend to the upside and as we pushed back the last few days we failed at the 50-day moving average and we ended up filling that gap now the good news is we held support at that gap on the Dow we didn't push any any lower but let's keep in mind we still have significant levels of price resistance in the chart uh, if we get some good news today as we rally back up if we can rally back up and if that doesn't occur if those bears decide to take the advantage of the data today let's keep in mind we have this whoops we have this support area down here that will be kind of critical and notice there really isn't much in there in the way of support if we were to drift into that area so what I'm suggesting is if we were to fail right in this area there really isn't much in here that will stop us from coming all the way back down in testing that area if those bears are emboldened today however if those bulls are emboldened today we could bounce right off of this and then we'll have to deal with these price resistant le resistance levels above and see whether or not we can push through that 50-day moving average here in the chart and kind of defeat some of this moving average levels this squeeze that we have going on up here um, and those resistance places in the Dow chart. So let's take a look at the spine. Now SPY, very much the same. However, we did drift a little bit lower than that right there. We were looking at that gap fill. We did drift below that, and this morning we are trying to get some bullishness um, this morning pushing and pumping back up here toward that upside. Now on this chart, if I were to draw a line down here, that's our trend. And so far, SPY is trying to hang on to that trend as support. So if we can catch this high level in, or this lower high level in here and find bullishness on the day, we certainly could rally back up. Now in any rally back up, we have to keep in mind that we have these resistance levels in the chart that we're gonna have to deal with in price. And now what we've seen in the past is that we would get some kind of inspiration and just zoom right back up. But we've seen the bears be much more tenacious in, in this move. So be really careful if we do pop up here and approach some of those resistance levels. Now keep, keep a, an eye on this. We had this inverted head and shoulder, or this head and shoulders top going on right here. And now we're trying to build an inverted head and shoulders, trying to suggest some bullishness and back up into these price levels. But keep in mind, as we approach those price levels, that's where those bears may stand in defense. So watch that very, very closely. And also keep in mind that we are still well below our 50-day moving average, and we're struggling here just a bit in uh, these charts for direction. So watch that carefully if we do rally back up toward those levels. Then let's take a look at the Qs. Now QQQ is probably showing the weakest 
of the index charts and that is because we have failed again right along the downtrend line here we haven't been able to perk back up and get on through that level yet you notice yesterday we broke we filled that gap and then broke on lower with a bearish engulfing candle yesterday leaving us with a little bit of concern and notice that we really are not that far away like we we see in the spy and the diamonds we really are not that far away from our close yesterday of retesting this low in the nasdaq so keep that in mind if those bears find reason to push us down they don't have all that far to go before we run into some price support in the chart now also keep in mind that if those bulls find a reason to push through to the upside we have a pretty significant price congestion zone right in the chart right here if they can push back up and push through that and let's also keep in mind that we still have above that level we have that 50-day moving average that could still challenge us in the chart now the good news on the nasdaq i think excuse me for this morning for some reason even with these uh with the cpi number coming out and considerable worry about that cpi report this morning we have um uh, bonds pulling back slightly here this morning. So bonds pulling back from these high levels, we are obviously still holding trends in these bond levels and we have significant price supports that could hold um, these bonds up, but it is a good relief to see um, the 10 year and 30 year pulling back just slightly and that could also help here in the nasdaq if we could get some things going now iwm yesterday um, was the most bullish of the charts and we continue to build uh, this wedging pattern here in the chart notice that all of these tops kind of line up here we continue to build this wedging pattern and we continue to fight in this this range in here where we're just kind of bouncing around now one of the things that could be really helpful here on the russell is if these financials if the big banks can actually produce a strong earnings report if they can produce strong earnings report that could certainly help the um the russell perk back up here with the assistance also of um, those rising energy prices. So keep an eye in here, and those if the financials engage, that could really help here. Now we still have this problem going on where we're getting this tremendous moving average squeeze. Notice in here, if I were to remove the price here for a second of the, of the Russell, notice that we have a 50, a 200, or 34 EMA, or 20 EMA, and the eight exponential moving average right here producing this incredible price squeeze here in the chart so it really is going to be interesting do we resolve this to the upside or will those bears push us down and we resolve this to the downside and that would potentially create that 50 crossing down through the 200 and that death cross coming in on that chart so some questions to be answered here and certainly there is a lot of high drama today let's take a look at our vix now our vix elevated yesterday into the close as we sold off into the close yesterday with this uncertainty and let's take a look here if i go to um, a chart remove all those moving averages notice that we have um, an uptrend here that so far has held and someone asked the question yesterday I, I drew a really quick line that was drawing through some of the price action up here please keep in mind that all i'm doing sometimes is pointing out these uh, trending areas in the chart and don't necessarily try to um, mark them perfectly accurately what i'm trying to draw attention to is that we do have this downtrend in the vix and this rising uptrend which puts us kind of in this wedging pattern and what we don't want to see in this wedging pattern we don't want to see if you're bullish on the market and want to see the market rally then you don't want to see this wedge resolve itself to the upside if um, we are um, are bearish if we want to see the market sell off that's exactly what we want to see
If you are bullish in the market, you want to see this wedge resolve itself here and start failing back to the downside. So uh, that's what I'm trying to point out in this chart that we still have these risks. And, and what this chart really shows us, guys, is the uncertainty that we're dealing with in the market. You can literally take a look at this chart and see that there is a palpable uncertainty where the market just doesn't know quite what to do with itself. We have some big questions to be answered here. So watch that carefully and closely. Then let's take a look at our T2122. Now T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And yesterday we saw that tick up here just a little bit and um, hold up here by the end of the day. But let's notice we're kind of right around this mid range. And remember T2122 doesn't tell us what direction the market will go. It merely tells us where those pressure points are. So unfortunately we have that uncertainty showing up here in T21. 22 as well. If we can get the inspiration for the bulls this morning, we certainly have opened up plenty of upside opportunity before we reach that bearish reversal zone again. And we have not even yet resolved the oversold condition since this um, little bit of a downtrend continues to show that pressure. We've got a long ways to go before we reach a oversold condition to the downside. So we're kind of sitting there in the middle, uncertain. We're waiting for this data uh, to come out and see what it actually reveals to us. So watch that carefully and closely. And T2107, um, just to point that out, we did see that tick up just a little bit yesterday, but we have yet to resolve this uh, big old downtrend. Notice that we have only 43% of our companies are above their 200 day move average and we have a little price resistance level right in there that we're also trying to to uh, best so watch that closely if we can get those bullish reasons to push on through then we could start getting these stocks coming up out of their off of their 200 providing some levity in the market um, once again if those bears find reason for inspiration well um, more pressure could come to the downside here with those stocks continuing to drop below their 200 day. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and what we've been talking about. We've got quite a little bit to, um, to um, grapple with today on that economic calendar. Keep in mind we have mortgage applications here um, um, and I think that number has already come in here this morning. We'll take a really quick look. Yeah, mortgage applications came in with a modest improvement of 0.2% this morning. So that probably helps a little bit. But our big number of the day is going to be this CPI reading. Now, economists are expecting a 0.3% month over month and a 0.53% year over year, which kind of stays in line of the prior month reading. However, there is significant concern that it could come in hotter than expected due to rising energy prices, supply chain issues, and this whole problem with um, employment shortages. So watch that carefully today. That could move the market dramatically. And then once we get through this, the next high drama moment is going to be the FOMC where we try to figure out whether or not um, they will start tapering sooner than later or not at all. I don't know. So we'll be looking for clues in the FOMC minutes as to the possible taper that um, they continue to talk about. So watch that carefully and closely. And as you plan your day forward, we're not finished with the high drama. We're going to actually ramp up some earnings reports with a bunch of big bank earnings tomorrow morning. And then we're going to have jobless claims and the PPI, another inflationary measure that has been problematic for us here recently. So watch those things closely. A lot of details coming out this week that could move us around quite a bit. Now, let's take a look at that earnings calendar. This morning, we are going to hear, um, we're going to officially kick off 
earnings for the year. Um, what I'm showing you here, guys, is a um, is the morning blog that I write every day. It has not been published yet, but notice right in here on the blog, um, I list the notable reports coming in. Um, for that so you can see that right over here those the this is the blog on the back side of the website it hasn't been published and those notable earnings reports now what I'm bringing the reason I'm showing you that is because I want you to know that as earnings ramp up I will not be able to cover all of these um, in the morning prep video and if you click the link just below the title of the video you can go back to the morning blog and get this data so let's take a look we're going to hear from JP Morgan this morning and JP Morgan um, well it could be um, interesting today how um, how they report what this what happens and you can see we're trying to um, imply some bullishness in the overall trend here in the chart so watch that this morning for that JP Morgan report we're also going to hear from BlackRock um, BlackRock will be reporting today. Notice they've been implying just a little bit of downside pressure here for BlackRock and some resistance above. So it could be a critical report here today for them. And then we're going to hear from Delta Airlines how they will be doing. Notice that we have this little bit of a downtrend going on in the chart and a little bit of a recent uptrend. So we're kind of wedging in here and we're trapped underneath some price resistance as that comes out. FRC is another that we'll want to keep an eye on today. Um, First Republic, they will be reporting. Watch these resistance levels in the chart. We've just been challenging this resistance. We can't seem to break down uh, through support, we can't seem to break up through resistance. So a lot of uncertainty in there waiting on that report. And then INFY will also be reporting today. So keep an eye on that one. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you find these videos to be helpful, to be useful for your day, please click that thumbs up button, leave those brief comments that helps the, the channel to continue to grow. And I just want to say thank you to everyone that takes the time. I, I Trust me, I know it's a pain in the neck and it's just one of those things um, social media requires. But if you want to help the channel continue to grow, if this content is important to you, please continue to engage with these videos and leave those brief comments. And just a note, it, it, it's just as good. You, you can just place an emoji um, um, and that works um, as well. It's just the engagement in the videos that makes a difference. Also, thank you so much to everyone who continues to support the channel through the Buy Me a Coffee link. I truly appreciate that. You guys are awesome. And if you're not a member of Hit and Run Candlesticks and Right Way Options and would just like to show appreciation to this kind of content, there's your opportunity with that Buy Me a Coffee link. It's certainly not mandatory. Let's take a look here in um, some of these stocks that are setting up. And I'm going to cover some of the things that I've covered before and a few other things. Let's take a look. Uh, first off, let's take a look at Ford. Now, Ford had a really good day yesterday, moving up strongly. And as you can see, we have lots and lots of strength here in this chart. And we're pushing up toward this resistance area here in the chart. So I would be a little bit careful about chasing that, but a little bit of rest or pullback, maybe a consolidation up here in that area could certainly help us find an entry into that chart. So watch that carefully for looking very strong. Also take a look at General Motors. GM has also been in a nice little rally mode here in the chart, pushing back up. So watch carefully on these resistance levels up here as we approach these highs. But any rest, consolidation, or pullback in here could certainly set up that 
um, um, opportunity to the upside. So I'd keep an eye on some of those guys looking pretty good. Take a look at um, some of the stocks over in the solar sector. Um, solar had a good day yesterday perking up and as you can see trying to break some of these downtrends um, in the chart. I wouldn't want to chase this here but any kind of rest or pullback would set up an opportunity and that would give us that first higher low and that possible resumption of trend. So take a look at some of those solars. Um, FSLR would be one that has already shown lots of strength running in an upside trend and will be approaching some resistance here in the chart. But watch that carefully for that upside opportunity. Another place you might want to look, take a look at Consolidated Edison. We're seeing um, utilities rise here just a little bit. And um, let's notice that we're trying to break some downtrends here in Consolidated Edison, trying to push on through. So if we could push this through and hold up here, might be some opportunities in some of those charts and you should keep a close eye on those. Um, we have quite a few charts. Um, take a look at um, some of the big industrials. Take a look at Boeing. Boeing is trying to push up through some downtrend here in the chart. Notice we had a shorter term downtrend here. We did push through and we're trying to hold that higher level in here on that support. So keep an eye on stocks like Boeing. If the market is going to recover, these might be some nice opportunities to, to move to the up side if they can bust through those downtrends and break through these resistance levels watch those pretty closely another place you might want to take a look at like mcd um, mcdonald's has held up really really strong and although it pulled back just a little bit the last couple of days i want to point out this trend and point out these price support levels here in the chart if we can hold in here and find that bullish inspiration today those certainly have that opportunity to move on higher. So keep a close eye on um, Mickey D's. Um, I'm also going to continue su to suggest you keep an eye on that YY. Now YY, you can see it has um, clipped my alert here, that little pink line. And as it rests in here, this is setting up an opportunity, what we call a rounded bottom breakout. Um, that's where we cross back above that 50 day moving average. We rest right in here, dragging that 50 day along. If we can find that bullishness in the chart, the ultimate target appears around the 200 day moving average. So keep a close eye on that. Um, I think it would also be a good idea to keep an eye on, um, FCX. If we can get something going here um, infrastructure wise, and I'm not saying that we will, there's still all of that um, wrangling going on in Congress over this stuff. But FCX has seen a nice little bump here recently and we have broken that downtrend here in the chart. So pushing up through some resistance levels, watch this here. If it can hold up in this area, there is that opportunity. We could start pushing higher in um, FCX. Keep an eye on um, RIG. RIG, I've mentioned a couple of times here with high energy costs going up, look for exploration to maybe start picking up. So watch this resistance level in the chart. See how we deal with this. Notice we've got higher lows. There's our little trend starting. So if we can deal with this resistance level and find some bullishness in here, RIG might be something to take a look at. And then real quickly, I do want to mention AMD. Now, AMD continues to struggle here. This is one of those tech stocks that I keep, I'm keeping an eye on. Um, overall, I'm not real sold on some of the big tech guys because their PE ratios are just so incredibly inflated. It doesn't make much sense to me. There's no value in them. But when we take a look at AMD, a little bit of a different story where we have a pretty good up side trend and we've had a significant little rest and consolidation in here holding above this 100 area and 100 you know big round numbers are natural support levels in the chart and as we work through this volatility notice we're trying to hold in here I would be watching for that next opportunity for a chart like AMD's to start ticking higher so watch that closely so with that everyone hey I want to wish you all the very very best 
Um, today could be challenging. Today, anything could happen. Anything is possible. We could change this market from bearish to bullish. We could really extend the bearishness. I don't know. So watch these details closely. Plan carefully. Stay safe. And we'll see you right back here, bright and early Thursday morning. Have a good one, everyone.